What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hi, my name is Jasmine. I go by Pinup Couture with two E's at the end. So I went ahead and shopped during the Sephora VIB sale. So I wanted to show you guys just some items that I picked up, give you guys some recommendations, some favorites, some things I had to restock up on, and then other products that I'm excited to try. So before we get into this video, stop what you're doing, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed. Also follow me on Instagram at Pinup Couture with two E's at the end. Guys, my voice is a little hoarse I feel like I was outside my son's birthday saying happy birthday and like ah, 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 being all excited so if you if my voice sounds a little raspy and like ah, it's because that is the reason so let's go ahead and get started I have a few items to go through I missed you guys I know I say this all the time when I go MIA but I am back <laughs> three times a week you can catch me Friday, Wednesday, and Sundays, um, you know, life happens. So I'm a mom, mom life comes first, and mom life can be just so much. So. In no particular order, I'm just grabbing as I go. Um, so the first thing I wanted up picking up during the VIB sale, which I had to get, I needed more. This is an all-time favorite. This scent is summertime i know we just hit spring but i was preparing for my summertime scent so that is going to be the tom ford sole blanc and this is what the packaging looks like so you guys know i love the scent i spoke about this time and time on my channel i love this scent by tom ford it's such a beautiful smell it's very summer oh my gosh i cannot wait to wear this it's such a grown sexy going out smell it's beach vibes, it's waves, it's I'm sitting with my toes in the sand and I'm drinking a pina colada somewhere on a tropical island. Like that's what this smells like. And you guys know with Tom Ford, heavy hitter fragrance. You do not need a lot of sprays. Very long lasting, very beautiful scent. The stay, the, the lasting power is there. It's gonna be on your clothes all day. Just, you can never go wrong with a Tom Ford scent. So I definitely had to go ahead and get this during the sale. And I am just cannot, like I said, I just cannot wait for summer to wear this. So I definitely would recommend this. If you have not tried Tom's Ford Sole Blanc, you will not go wrong with this. This is the perfect time to shop this during the Sephora uh, VIB sale. Go ahead and try it out. You will not regret it. So the next two items I wound up getting, again, another favorite. The first one is the Sole Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which when I open the box, it's actually pronounced Boom Boom. It says it right here. Yeah. Pronounced Boom Boom. This will make your heart go bum, Boom Boom. But it's spelled B-U-M. So I'm still going to say Bum Bum. I like the Bum Bum Cream because I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it's better, Bum Bum, than Boom Boom. Then they had a new scent, so I had to pick that up. And this one is the pink one. This is the, I don't even know how you pronounce it, Baja Flora Elasti Cream. Beja, 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 Baja, Baja, Beja, Flora, Flora. I don't even know how you pronounce it, but it's in the pink bottle, okay? It's the pink one. So, the first one, you guys know, this is a classic scent. This is another smell. It is summertime in a bottle. I had to get the big bottle because I love, when I tell you I love this lotion, oh my gosh, you guys, talk about summer. If you want something that's like literally summer, that is this. This is really beach. This is so tropical. This is so, I'm at the beach. This is, I live in, I don't know, Hawaii. I'm just near the water 24 seven. This is such a beautiful, just tropical summer scent. Like every time I smell this, I'm like, yes, I'm at the beach somewhere. Love this scent. And what I love about this cream is how long lasting it is. Like the smell just stays on you and it makes your skin just feel so soft and so moisturized. So I had to wind up going and picking this up. So the pink one I wound up giving a try. This was actually a blind buy. They said this smells like Baccarat Rouge. So I was like, hmm, I'm, I like that smell. You know, all the girls wear that scent now. It's like <laughs> overpowering. But I wanted to give it a try. And you guys, it's so true. It does smell. It, it definitely smells like Baccarat. The only thing is, it's not as heavy. Like, I can see the similarities, 
but it's slightly different if that makes sense like this to me is a little bit more sweeter than bakra like a smell like almost like a pink sugar scent to it but it does smell like it like very 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 faint very very faint like if you didn't know what bakra smell like you would not think this was that like it smell similar you can never go wrong with Sole de Janeiro their products are amazing so I'm excited to give this a try and see how it lasts I definitely want to um give it a test run and I'll come back and let you know how I like this but for a blind buy I'm happy with my purchase so definitely still recommend if you have not tried it give it a try so the next item I wound up picking up was the Burberry Her this is the travel size so this I wanted to picking up this was another blind buy I was watching a YouTube video I can't remember the girl's name but she said she used to wear this all the time and it kind of since we were talking about baccarat rouge it reminded her of that it was on that same type of um family like the scents um and then she stopped wearing it but then she wore it again and she realized how much she forgot how much she loved it so much so i was like hmm, let me give this a try so this is what the travel size looks like so you get a rollerball and then you get a little mini um travel fragrance here so I'm so happy with this blind buy, guys, because it smells so good. Yeah, this is more like an everyday perfume. And to me, it's so it's springtime. Like this is the perfect scent for right now because it's so springy. It's not sweet. It's just very dainty and pretty. You feel like I feel like getting dressed up and throwing on my heels or being with my girlfriends. Like that's the smell this gives me. It's not as heavy as Baccarat Rouge. So I, but I can see the similarities. Like it smells on that same family but not like it exactly. Does that make sense? So yeah, I'm so happy with this blind buy. I want to for sure now get a bigger bottle because... I love this. This is such a beautiful scent. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So I definitely recommend Burberry Her if you have not tried it. You cannot, you will not go wrong with this. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. So moving on to the next item, it's going to be another perfume and that is the replica. This one is When the Rain Stops. This is what the perfume looks like. I wind up picking up a one, I think it's a 1.7 ounce. Replica is pricey. So yes, I got a smaller bottle because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Reading the notes. I'm in love. I love it. Oh my goodness. My mother actually recommended this to me. She has the bigger size bottle and she was like, just get it, Jazz. You're going to like it. And I was like, eh, I don't know, Ma, because sometimes like her, her, fragrant, her fragrance recommendations sometimes can be too strong for me. Um, so that's why I'm like, let me just get a smaller size bottle. I like smaller bottles too because it's perfect to travel with. So this smell though, oh, you have to... So this is one you have to let sit, you gotta let it cool down, and let it cool, let it cool, let it cool, let it cool, and then come back. Oh. Mm. When I tell you guys, I can already tell, I will, this is gonna last me a long time. Replica, with all replica fragrances, I feel like you do not need a lot. They're very long lasting, again, strong in your face when you walk by somebody's gonna smell you like it's, it stays on your clothes like this is definitely giving that and this is more date night to me like going out i wouldn't wear this fragrance um during the day it's very just mature and grown and uh, it's not sweet it's more on the like sexy man y'all you, you, know i love my sexy man smells like this is giving me sexy man and it almost Honestly, it almost smells like it could be a, a, a cologne. Like it could be unisex. I wonder if it is. Because that's what this smells like. Yeah, this smells more like a cologne smell. So if you do not like those fragrances that has like that musk in it or smells like a cologne, then this wouldn't be for you. If you're not, if you're more on the sweet side, this is definitely not it. But I love, 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 love this fragrance right now. Um, I cannot wait to wear this out. I cannot wait to get dressed up, feeling sexy and feeling myself. So very excited, very happy I purchased this. Definitely recommend this. And again, if you haven't tried a replica um, fragrance, definitely recommend trying them. Great fragrances, great products, long lasting. You won't, you cannot go wrong with them. So speaking of fragrances that my mother recommends and told me to buy, the next purchase that I wound up getting was something she recommended and I'm so upset that I wound up getting this because I do not like it. It's from the brand Killian and this one's Angel's Share. 
She told me to pick this up because she has it and she's like, Jazz, get it, you like it. Uh, uh, uh. And now I'm like, Ma, no. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I'm so mad because I have Killian Good Girl and I love that. But this, mm, mm. I'm going to spray it. This is so strong, y'all. This is so strong. And I just do not like things that are super strong. Guys, I don't know what it is that makes me just not like this. Um, because it's not a horrible scent. It's not. It's a, I don't know, it's very strong. It's very overpowering. Um, it has like a weird after scent. Like after you smell it, it smells like something. And I don't know, I don't know if it's like medicine. It, It's something, you guys, and I can't put my finger on what it is that it reminds me of, but I just don't like this. So I'm probably gonna wind up giving this to my mother um, because this was not a good buy for me. So yeah, I'm, like I said, I'll probably give this up for Mother's Day, put it in like a little Mother's Day basket. Like here, since you love it so much, you can have it. You can take this, this is for you. And now you'll have a travel size whenever you go somewhere because this was not doing it. So the next item I wanted to pick up was another blind buy. Again, I was watching YouTube and I was watching uh, Sephora recommendations on what to purchase before I went ahead and did my own Sephora haul. And one of the girls, she recommended this um, cleansing balm and it's an oat cleansing balm from the Inky List. So I've already tried it since I've had my products for about two days now. Um, initially, so when I was reading the reviews, um, they were saying it's a really good cleanser, great for removing makeup because it's like an oil base. Um, what I do love is it's great for sensitive skin and they said it removes makeup really, really well. So it says it can be used day and night. You just dampen your face and you wash like you normally would with a normal um, face wash. So I have, I have tried this for both morning and both night. So what I will say is I do like the way my face feels after I wash with it like normal. Um... Do I feel like it gives you like that squeaky clean feeling? No, I haven't so far, no. So I haven't tried this yet with removing my makeup, but I am gonna try this tonight after I get done recording. I'm gonna try and see how it removes makeup. But for the past couple of days, I haven't worn makeup, so I've just been using it just as a regular face wash. And like I said, I just like how it made my skin feel. I do feel like my skin felt a little bit moisturized. But I'm excited to give this a try for like the remaining of the month and just see how my skin takes to it. Because usually I feel like when I try new face products, I give myself 30 days to see how my skin takes and how I feel and if I notice a difference at all. So... Can't say if I'm liking this yet, but so far from the reviews, everyone said they love this. So this is one of those, it's up in the air for if you want to try this, you can. So far, I will let you guys know probably in my monthly favorites and fails how I'm feeling about this. But again, this is another blind buy. So we'll see how it goes in 30 days. So the next item I picked up is from the brand Necessaire and this is the body wash. So you guys know this wash. If you, You've probably seen numerous YouTubers talk about this wash and how much they love it. I wound up picking up the scent Eucalyptus. This was the scent a lot of YouTubers talked about how they love it. They love the way it smells. They love the way their body feels after using it. So I used literally a corner of it. Um, what I will say is initially that smell is there like you definitely smell that eucalyptus it's all in here what it smells like if you guys aren't familiar like what eucalyptus is to me this smells just like vicks like you know vicks like when you was younger your grandmother used to lather that vicks on your nose on your ears and your neck that's what this smells like vicks in a bottle like it's vicks yes yeah, vicks this is Vicks. <laughs> um, and if you don't like the smell of Vicks, then you might want to try a different scent. They have a sandalwood, which I really wanted to try because I love, you know, my sexy man smells. But I went with the, the eucalyptus because, again, everyone said they love this smell. So I was like, let me let me try eucalyptus. So, yeah, I've only tried like a small amount of it. So I can't really say if I like it or not. But I am excited to see how my skin takes to it in a couple weeks. So I will be back to let you guys know um, my review on it maybe during my like monthly fa favorites of fails so definitely if you have not tried this um everyone loves it from the reviews they talked about it raving house a great body wash so you probably can't go wrong with this so 
can't wait to get this a uh, try. The next thing I wound up picking up is another perfume. I know I've just I just racked up on my perfume. Seriously, this was like the perfect time. If you do not get anything, get perfumes. The perfect time to shop during their sale, especially if you have the twenty percent off, is get some perfumes. So I racked up all the perfumes I said I wanted to buy. Remember you guys, I talked about this in I think one of my monthly favorites. I had the rollerball, well the the travel size spray, which I still have some of. I wish I could pour some of this into the travel size. But I wanted to picking up the Valentino. This is Born in Roma. Oh, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I talk about this all the time. I spoke about this before. Just know I love the smell. Mm, this is mm, mm, mm. This is just, this is just it. This is going out. This is, I'm grown, I'm sexy, I'm living life, I'm beautiful, I look good, I smell good. This is that. This is daytime, this is nighttime, whenever you want to wear it, going to the mall, going grocery shopping, wherever. This is that scent. Oh my gosh, it's such a nice scent. Mm, it's just, it's just, it's just grown. It's sexy. It's prissy. It's, mm, it just smells good. It just smells so good. And guys, look at the bottle. I mean, she's just gorgeous by herself. You cannot go wrong with this bottle. So definitely recommend getting this now while you are able to save during their sale. You will not go wrong with this. Recommend for sure. So next up, I picked up two hair perfumes. The first one is from Moroccan Oil and then the second one is from Miss Dior. So starting with the Moroccan Oil, this, if you know Moroccan Oil, the brand, this started as a hair care line and they got so many good compliments on the way their products smell that they wind up <laughs> making like hair care, um, the perfumes, and now they have a lotion as well. So I just recently made another order and I'm getting a lotion too. So I, want, I love the way this stuff smells. So this is my first time purchasing this. I have never used this before, but I do love the Moroccan oil, the way their products smell. So I was very excited to get this a try. So this scent is more of a light, fresh, airy type of smell. Yes, very lightweight. So what I will say though, if you are going to use it as a hair fragrance, it comes out very, um, the mist is not as fine, like it's very wet. So what I will say is if, you, if your hair is like straightened, you might want to like spray it from a far distance or put it on your brush or comb and then go ahead and brush your hair with it. My hair is already wet so I can go ahead and spray it directly on my hair. It wouldn't mess up because my hair is in a, a slick down. I have gel, I have water. It would work fine with the style I have in now. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see how this lasts on my body. I'm excited to see um, the longevity of it. Because it is a mist, I don't feel like it's going to last as long. But I do think this is going to be just a nice scent going into summertime because it has that that fresh smell. It has such a, a good summery smell to it. So love, love, love this. I'm excited to get this a try. Moroccan oil, like I said, their products are really good anyway. So the scent love the scent the second hair fragrance i wind up picking up is from miss dior and this is the original scent this is the hair mist to it so i got the what size is this i think this is a one ounce yes so i'll open it so you guys can see what it looks like so this is what the bottle looks like and guys it literally smells just like the perfume like if you know miss dior you know what it smells like very sweet lightweight Mm, pretty dainty smell. I don't want to spray it on my hair because I just sprayed the other one, but I'll spray it on my wrist. Yes, very, very pretty scent. Oh, I love this. This is a classic scent. Not going to talk too much about it. If you know, you know. So what I will say is for this to be a hair perfume, this little thing smells like, when I just spray this, this smells like a perfume. Like I can spray this or even like a body mist. Like I can wear this on my clothes. So if you don't want to invest in the full Miss 60, uh, the full size bottle, this could be a good dupe. Like just go ahead and getting the hair perfume because it smells, yeah, this is very strong. Wait, maybe, it, did it go away? No, yeah, it's still on me. Wow, that's really good. This is my first time purchasing this. Um, I'm definitely excited to give this a try. Again, I want to see longevity, but from just spraying it on my skin, I think it's going to last very long as on my hair for a hair perfume. So 
very excited to give this a try. And so now guys, the last product is actually something I forgot to pick up, but I have a little bit left, so I'm trying to hold on to it, and I do need to run out and get some more, but that is the Skin Fix. This is the Glyconic Renewing Scrub. You guys know I spoke about this so many times on my channel. I absolutely love this scrub. It is like the best scrub I've ever used. Your skin feels so silky smooth after you use it. I've never had an issue. It's the perfect every other day scrub or three times a week. It definitely moisturizes your skin. It replenishes your skin. Your skin feels so revived and renewed. I just love using this scrub. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. So yeah, I need some more of this. I just want to show, definitely recommend. Now is the perfect time. Go ahead and rack up on this. I'll probably wind up grabbing like two or three bottles since they're having a sale. And yeah, love this scrub. You will not, cannot go wrong with this. The best scrub I've ever tried. So guys, that is it for my Sephora VIB sale haul and recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these products or what products you are going to try, any things that I recommend that you are excited to try. And if you have any recommendations, any perfumes, any body care, skincare, um, makeup products from Sephora that I should give a try, let me know in the comments section down below. So as always guys, Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel and be a part of the Couture Click family. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.